95 is alive. Here's the Osborne cranking along. As you can see, the CD drive is working a charm. It's a very noisy hard drive too. At the moment, I'm just installing Windows 95. I've discovered um, by chance that I have a boot sector virus in on something, so I need to work that out as well. Apparently it's harmless, but you don't want a boot sector virus infecting every floppy disk you put in the damn drive. So I'll have to get a, something that can boot to CD. Or <sighs> we'll run from CD. <coughs> and then get over this flu. And uh, fix it up. I had some problems earlier trying to get Windows to go because I had a network card installed. So I've got about another four of them. One of them will have to work. But I just thought I'd do a quick video just to show that the uh, CD drive... Given its age and the chances of it working, it actually works. I mean, all those read failures we had was probably just because CDs <coughs> were no longer to the standard we know, or the standards we knew back then. They're all modern and we've got an extra six minutes of data. Audio data. So there you have it. We're making progress. It's slow progress, but it's progress. Thanks for watching. Windows just finished installing. Now we're going to see what happens. First boot. Oh, these memory tests take too long. There is no way to skip these memory tests. I could install those RAM. used about 170 megabytes of the 300 in hard drive space. I did install all the screen savers though. I'm a sucker for screen savers.
What is it doing? But I don't have that installed. Alright. Oh, this is going to take years. <coughs> we'll be back after the break. And we're back. I don't quite know what it's doing. Good feeling it's going to do something soon. No, it's doing something. this all takes on slow hardware. What I don't understand is why it doesn't do this before it asks me to restart. Why, why can't I just have it ready to go? What's it doing? There's nothing in the floppy drive. No. Oh, if anyone has any ideas on <coughs> which virus scanners I should try, just uh, let me know. Finalizing settings. Not long now. Ooh, what a nice teal background. Strangely familiar. D drive. Sound works. It's pretty good. Active movie. There's any middies on here? Oh, 
Hey. Yeah. Pretty good. Damn, multitasking. With my hard disk control, I have issues. <coughs> Put that network card back in. But overall, that's a success. Now, just to get rid of this boot sector virus, I'm going to try some CD audio. Try something from Shonen Knife. As always. Okay, so the disc's in there. I don't have a Windows key on this keyboard. Uh, CD player. Oh, that's a bit loud. Let's. There we go. As you can see, the Creative CD200 has a green light when reading audio. It's orange for data. So there you go. You might have learned something today. Thanks for watching. Sorry this video was so long. <coughs> I really need to go rest in bed. Wow, haven't heard that noise in about... Wow. <laughs> Retrojunkie.net